Here's something from the PWInsider.com. Uh, here's an interesting story. You were telling me about this, uh, uh, Daniel, off the air, involving Colt Cabana. Uh, during the filming of a ringside segment featuring announcers Dusty Rhodes and Josh Matthews at Thursday's Florida Championship Wrestling Television taping, the crowd erupted with loud Colt Cabana chants in honor of recently released WWE wrestler Scotty Goldman who frequently appeared at the developmental promotion show. Apparently, uh, the chants got under the skin of Rhodes, and following, uh, and following filming of the segment, he asked the fans what they were saying. They replied, Coat Cabana, to which he quickly snarled back, he's gone. WWE Hall of Famer also made a thumb hit the road gesture, like, you know, get the hell out of here. <laughs> hey, he could go back to Ring of Honor and make quite a bit of money, man. He was the draw there before. Cabana's a great talent. He's you, one of the better indie guys out there, and he's funny as hell. I don't see why WWE never let him show it. You know what? I'll ask. I'll ask uh, Kerry Silken about uh, Cole Cabana if he if he may uh, might be uh, doing some appearances for them. Now he's Carlos Colon's other son, right? No, no. He's I thought related to him. Cole Cabana. No. I don't. Even, I don't think they're related at all. Dave. No, not at all. Hmm. Okay. No. Uh, where have you been? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> maybe you've been, maybe you've been, uh, serving some hard time in, instead of Daniel on that weed. <laughs> no, no, I just, I don't get into wrestling anymore. I mean, I, I try to watch it and I just, I can't get it. Uh, how is that, uh, how is that turning out for you, Daniel, by the way? Uh, uh any, any late breaking news that you get your attorney yet? Uh, I gotta go Friday and meet with him, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, uh any, any word from, uh... Uh, what you might be facing or anything like that? Or how's no, that? not yet. It should be just a fine, I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> Community service, maybe. Community service. So That's it's, bad enough. It's no, it's, it's no chances you'll be uh, going into jail or nothing like that? I don't huh? think so. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, cool. Cool. Uh, here's a story from New Zealand. Uh, legend Robert Bruce died. Uh, New Zealand's wrestling and entertainment world is mourning the passing of Robert Bruce, former professional wrestler and agent to the professional actors for the past 30 years. The former on-the-mat wrestler and presenter died suddenly and unexpectedly uh, in Auckland this morning or uh, the other day uh, after a short illness. He was 65 years old. Uh, JR's Barbecue.com. This story was big on OWW Genesis. JR is basically saying those that say that Dwayne Johnson is a sellout are ignorant. Now, uh, if, if you're a part of OWW Genesis uh, from Online World of Wrestling, you would know that uh, Contempt and I have had a nice little discussion about uh, JR's calling us ignorant or not. Uh, I'm, with, I'm with the crowd that says JR is speaking out of his ass himself. Now, I like JR. You know, don't get me wrong. I, I like I, li I like the way he uh, you know calls matches. His play by play is commenting on 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 the matches there in the ring. But sometimes I think he speaks out of the side of his mouth. No no pun intended. Oh, oh my uh, goodness! But you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> well, let me ask you this, Nick. Yeah. Why do you think The Rock is a uh, is a sellout? Well, okay. Number one, he was made uh, uh, his his name got uh, larger than life. In, in professional wrestling, right? Okay. Then, you know, he completely walks out and go into this new genre of movie, make, uh, movie making, right? Then he uh -huh. comes back for maybe a couple of promos here and there. He gets our, 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 our mouth all watery and, and wet when he comes and wrestles Hogan at, at WrestleMania. And then he splits again. Is that not a sellout to you? No. What do you, how do you uh, uh, describe there's, it? There's a... Uh... I've been reading a lot of wrestling biographies, and there's one thing I've noticed that's in a lot of them, that uh, a lot of wrestlers have said someone from the older generation have uh, passed down to them. They said, uh, if, you, uh, if you're in the business, don't think that you owe it anything, because the promoters aren't going to look at it like they owe you anything. How, uh, how, many, times has Vince just cast, not... how many times has Vince cast people aside? It's not. It's not as much as him owing us anything. It's. It's. It's the state of the industry right now. When he walked out, he left a void in the industry that that hasn't been filled. As as I said on OWW Genesis, I think before. Cena's filled it. 
Cena has filled crap, dude. I think Cena's done. <laughs> what has Cena has with Cena, the Rock left. Cena has not filled a, a, free, a, a freaking void that The Rock has uh, uh, left open, or, or Austin, or Hart, or uh, any of these guys from the from the Attitude area. Are you kidding? <laughs> the wrestling uh, industry, I believe, is at its worst right now. The, it's not at its worst, but it's well, not exactly in the best of. Uh, and and okay, and and what's who is the direct fault? Who is the direct fault of this wrestling industry being being where it is right now? The writers. Okay. The writers. Okay, the writers. But I'm talking. Okay, TV. yeah, you would say the writers, but I'm talking about the the talent that left us. You can't blame that on the talent. Who else can you blame it on? They, okay, okay. So you saying the Rock not sure. leaving uh, uh, WWE? If if the Rock was still in the WWE right now, we would have a, a larger than life figure, right? Who that we can get around to. To get behind instead of Cena, instead of Triple H, who's been in the spotlight for 30 million years already now. <laughs> if The Rock was there, yeah, heart, he would heart. be there. But just because he's there doesn't mean that uh, you're guaranteed the same uh, ratings that he was drawing during the Attitude Era. It all comes down to the writing, what the writers are producing, whether it's drawing or not. Yeah. No. I just see Dwayne Johnson had to do what was right for Dwayne Johnson exactly. and his family. Mm. So, I mean, Vince uh, doesn't show his guys any... Uh, Loyalty, so why should well, they show it to him? When they get a chance, I'd take it too, man. Yeah, you're going to make know. a lot more money in movies than you will in wrestling, and your and body's going to hold hurt. up a lot longer. And you're not going to get hurt, exactly. Yep. Right, I guess. Uh, here's another big story uh, that's happened a, a couple of days ago, uh, possibly a, a couple of weeks ago. There's a recent interview that Jim Cornette had with a, a, another show uh, that I've got a couple of uh, clips from. It's basically Jim Cornette talking about Vince McMahon and, and, and the WWE, uh, ECW. And, I mean, he is uh, really trash in the he WWE. He wasn't kind at all. He wasn't. Dave, did you see this? Did you hear about this? No, I didn't. All right. Well, I have a couple of clips of it, and, and I'm going to play it here, and, 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 and we'll comment on it as it goes uh, because this, I mean, this, this is huge. I, I, I think it's huge. Um, I don't know what the fallout's going to be, but what Jim Cornette basically had to say about Christian's return into, uh, w, uh, WC, into WWE and him being on that, that third brand program, ECW. So uh, Cornette has some thoughts of the new ECW. Let's hear what he has to say about it. Let's go ahead and put ECW where it belongs. The afterthought of the WWE, the third show, they're stuck with it. They, they canceled the touring uh, live events, and now it's just a television show and, and a not very well-rated one at that. And they Basically, that's the... That's the uh, the uh, home of last resort for things that they want to try out. It's their developmental program on wow. national television. Let's put it where it belongs. Let's get that straight. Can you believe him? He's just coming straight <laughs> out and saying it. This is this is well, their developmental program. Well, he said it's not not a very highly rated one at that. But that's not true either, though. It's drawing better than Impact most weeks. Yeah, and and over there on Sci Fi, it's the highest rated program yeah. on on the network. That's not really saying much if you watch some of. The rest of sci-fi's programs. What you don't like? Uh, what's that uh, show with uh, MacGyver? The Battlestar Galactica. Don't you don't like that? You don't like Battlestar Galactica? No, hell no. <laughs> Not a nerd. Uh, uh, Jimmy was asked, uh, "What do you believe, Christian?" Uh, or do you believe Christian will help the program, ECW? This is what he had to say. Christian Cage is not going to be the uh, Steve Austin. Christian Cage is not the rock. Christian Cage is not the guy that's going to headline every pay-per-view for the next five years and draw incredible money. Now that we've got that out of the way, Christian Cage is as good or better as 95% of the roster of any wrestling promotion in the world today. Christian Cage is a hard worker and a good worker. Christian Cage is a smart kid. Christian Cage is a good talker. But he's not six feet six and he doesn't weigh 275 pounds, and standing next to a, a superstar like John Laurinaitis, I'm sure he doesn't look yeah. very physically intimidating. <laughs> but the point is, he's proven himself, he's got experience, he's got talent, and he does business in a pretty 